Well, how are you all getting on? Sponge Murphy here with another update for Spooky Toberfest 2015. So, another update with my help hit abomination. The last video I did with this, it wasn't really an update, I just kind of showed it what it was like all made up and everything. But I have been working pretty hard on it today. Um, I got most of the skin finished, most of the area that I wanted to get done. Um, I'm just trying to think what colour did I do for the base? Rackard Flesh, that's what it was, because like, I did the same as the Blood Reavers. Um, I gave it a base colour of Rackard Flesh and then I went over today with Flayed One Flesh. And it literally took me like two hours because there's just, there's just so much on this guy. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, I'm happy with how it turned out. There it is with the Rackard Flesh with uh, Reikland Flesh shade over I forgot to mention that. You know, I haven't got the back part done yet. Um, you know, I'm a really slow painter, but I get it done. Um, yeah, he's turning out pretty good. Um, there's still so much more to do on this skin. All these little scars, all these little markings, um, the stitches, they all have to be, you know, done up. You know, some of them got painted over like this one. But they'll all be filled out now near the end ones. I think I have to order that Screamer pink colour because I haven't got really a pink colour. Um to fill them out and to make them stick out a little bit more and I just put a little bit of I think it was lead belcher yeah lead belcher on there on the little metal plate part just to because I got sick of looking at it it was just plain white um, yeah so there's like there's a lot of stuff on this guy a lot of skin but you know I think the big bulk of it is kind of done now I got all the heads done as well so I want to do their eyes and I want to do I think I might just give them the black noses um, you know, and then get all their teeth done as well. I did have this guy with Ushapti bone just painted over just to see what it looked like. Um, so yeah, I think what's next? Well, obviously, I'm going to get this back part finished. <clears throat> um, get all this kind of layered up with flared one flesh. And I think then I'll start working on the heads first, get the eyes done, and then I'll get any bone parts like. The bone part here in the mouth, and um, the nails, the claws, all them need to be done separate. Um, and I think while I'm waiting to get a certain colour, like the pink for the markings and, uh, and whatever, I'll get um, this back part here done. There's a lot of metal colour in that as well to be done. So just to get that out of the way. So I think I have most of the hard work out of the way. And then obviously, you know, I still have the base to do as well. I want to leave them on the square base. Um, because I'm just not gonna order around one. You know, it's just that it's just I, I, right now money. I'm not gonna waste it on a base. To be honest, I'd, I'd rather make one and pay for a lot of round bases. But um, yeah, I wish I did have a big oval base from it. Would would look so much nicer. But um, you know, I think this is one of those guys that looks pretty nice on a square base. So um, yeah. So that's it. Just a quick update on him. Um. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Just most of the long work is kind of done now. Just a bit more detail work. Um, you know, and I still have like the warp stone. I just spotted that there now. You see like the stones. And the claw. You know, there's a couple of them throughout the model. The paint out as well. So I have a nice green effect on them. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. And subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.